Hi everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. A recurring question that's twice a day is, what's the difference between all these different gem labs and what's the point of a certified diamond? I wanted to take that apart and answer it for you because it's a short question with a long answer. So there are a number of different gem labs, hundreds of them around the world who are in the business of certifying diamonds. And what certifying a diamond means is they say, hi, we're gemological experts and we believe the diamond to be such and such clarity, such and such color, etc., etc. We think the properties of the diamonds should be graded as follows. Now, that can be useful to somebody buying a diamond because a gem lab is a, is a disinterested third party. They don't care whether you buy a particular diamond from, from a particular store or not. So they're saying, hi, we have no interest in this sale. We don't know about you. We don't know about the store. We think the diamond is this. They don't generally give an opinion on value, right? They'll say this stone is G color and it's VS1 clarity, but they won't tell you how many dollars it's worth. So that's what a, a diamond certificate is. It's a third party opinion from a gem lab about the characteristics of a stone. And that's why people might find it useful. Now, of the hundreds of gem labs around the world, most of them are not terribly credible, but there are a few that have good reputations. Uh, without getting into too much, uh, the, the big ones in the, here in the United States are GIA, which is the Gemological Institute of America, IGI, the International Gem Institute, AGS, the American Gem Society, and EGL USA, European Gem Lab USA branch. Those are the largest and most credible gem labs here in the United States. And you'll see those certificates attached to diamonds for sale in stores throughout the country. I wanna talk specifically about GIA versus EGL USA because those are the most popular, at least here on the West Coast where I'm located. Those are the most commonly seen certificates. Uh, it's very important to, to note that I'm talking about EGL USA here, not EGL International or EGL Europe. It turns out those companies are not in fact branches of the same company, they're competitors. They are not related companies, they compete with each other. So when I talk about EGL USA, I mean EGL USA only. Now, GIA versus EGL USA. Throughout the industry, generally GIA is considered the gold standard, if you will, of diamond grading. They're considered definitive. GIA is, is thought to be the most strict and the most prestigious of diamond certificates. Um, and with good reason, over the years, GIA has, uh, has held pretty high standards of diamond grading. EGL USA, maybe some people think, isn't quite as strict on their diamond grading, but I found that that is changing rapidly as EGL USA is becoming more and more strict and more and more uh, stringent on their grading. But even putting that aside, when you ask yourself the question, should I buy a GIA certified stone or an EGL USA certified stone? The answer is, if you're buying it correctly, it doesn't matter. Let me tell you what I mean by that. What I mean is the market prices that certificate value into the stone. So the best way I can explain it to you is, is by analogy. Let's pretend that you have two identical twin children and they are equally gifted and talented in all ways, right? They are peas in a pod, there's no difference between them. You send one of those two kids to college at Harvard and you send the other one to state school. Okay, pick your less prestigious college. Now the kid at Harvard gets a B average and the kid at state school gets an A average. So one of them has a degree from Harvard with a transcript saying Bs and one of them has a degree from state school with a transcript saying As. That, that's similar to a diamond graded by GIA as this color and clarity or the same diamond graded from EGL USA at this color and clarity. But now let's say both of those identical twins apply for the same job at AT&T. The AT&T hiring, hiring manager will look and say, oh, well, you got B's at Harvard, so I'll give you a $50,000 salary, and you got A's at state school, so I'll give you a $50,000 salary. In other words, these two kids who were identically talented will wind up commanding the same salary in the market, regardless of where they go to school. Similarly, if you take two identical diamonds and you send one to GIA and one to EGL USA, the one sent to EGL USA might get slightly higher grading, but the two diamonds will be priced the same because the market knows how to account for that. So at the end of the day, as long as you're buying the diamond correctly, meaning you're working with a jeweler who you feel comfortable with and trust to be honest with you about fair pricing, it doesn't really matter which of those two labs the diamond is certified by. At the end of the day, the purpose of a third-party gemological certificate is to give you confidence in what you're buying. And if you're working with a jeweler who you know and trust, 
you should have that confidence already. So it really comes back to the same thing either way. If you don't know jewelry, know your jeweler. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan Moran with Concierge Diamonds. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or of course on Reddit where I go by Diamond Dealer. Thanks, guys.